Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Well, since the summer of 2020, our summer of love, it seems like society here in the entire state of Washington, certainly here in the Puget Sound region, has been falling apart at the seams. And I do mean going to hell in a handbasket. But it is good to know that we have an attorney general fighting hard to make our streets safer for you, the lawful and responsible gun owner. Because yes, he is out on a major enforcement effort to crack down on one of the biggest scourges to public safety that imaginable. And of course, I'm talking about gun stores selling high capacity magazines. Well, it appears that Attorney General Ferguson is at it once again, but this story is a little bit misleading. So. I want to talk about it and I want to clear the record up and I kind of want to point out a couple other things that your attorney general might be up to. So today, let's spend a few very important minutes and talk about the Washington attorney general busts another gun store for selling unlawful magazines. Okay, before we get going down the road, we are going down. Proud to announce that this video is being brought to you by Security Gun Club. That's right, Washington's nicest indoor shooting facility is located right here in Woodenville, Washington. Now, I'm not going to brag about the facility. I'm not going to brag about the people. And I'm not going to brag about the training, all of which you guys have heard me before. And yes, it is awesome. But this month, if you're looking for a last-minute shopping idea, a little gift idea for a loved one, hey, check them out at securitygunclub.com because right here on the home page yeah that's right you can pick up online gift cards you can get a gift card for a specific dollar amount let them go in and pick out what they want you can get them a card for a basic class you can get them a card for a basic membership the choice is yours it's all available at securitygunclub.com so visit washington's nicest indoor facilities you can stop by see them in person they are located right here in Woodenville, Washington, or again, visit them at securitygunclub.com. That is not a misprint. That is security with an E, securitygunclub.com. Okay, Dateline, December 21st, 2022, in not particularly big fanfare, it appears through a press release only off the Attorney General's website that there has been a second gun store in the state of Washington to be busted by Attorney General Ferguson for intentionally selling high-capacity magazines. That store is WGS Guns in Lakewood, Washington. Now, if one were to read the press release, you would think that this was part of this big dragnet operation, and it is part of an operation in which the Attorney General set enforcement agents into 25 gun stores around the state. That is your tax dollars at work, folks. And uh, came away finding two gun stores that are allegedly in violation by selling high-capacity magazines. Now, I want to make this known to everyone. Anytime I'm referring to either one of these incidents, I am referring to what the allegations against them are right now. I am in no way saying that this is what occurred. I am in no way endorsing anyone's version of events. And I am certainly not suggesting for one second that either one of these two gun stores that I'm about to mention are guilty of anything. Now, we have already talked about the first incident, which took place at Federal Way Discount Guns on this video right here. Now, that case was rolled out to massive fanfare. It was on King. It was on Cairo. It was on Como. It was on every freaking news site we can imagine. It was the biggest thing to happen here in a long time. Uh, however, today's announcement that WGS guns in Lakewood had been busted for two separate violations. Well, that was rolled out to a very, very quiet fanfare. In fact, no fanfare at all. Rather than making a big, bold, brash statement like the Attorney General's office did with Federal Way Discount Guns essentially spiking the football in their face, no, this one was done on a much quieter level. Now, here's what's most interesting. Here's what's most interesting. If you go back and you look at the dates of when these violations occurred, and you go back and you look at the dates in which both of these gun stores were notified of their violations, well, all of the problems that occurred at Federal Way Discount Guns, including the notification by the Attorney General's office, occurred after the violations and notifications had occurred for 
for WGS guns in Lakewood. And it begs the question, with the most politicized attorney general anywhere in the United States, is what's going on here? Why does violations at Federal Way discount guns get rolled out to massive, massive fanfare, the pounding of a drum, if you would, and yet this one with the gun store in Lakewood is literally hush, hush, quiet, quiet on the whole thing. And what is going on here? What is the political motivations for cl clearly parading those at Federal Way discount guns uh, around for public to see in a public flogging and yet being so secretive about this violation. Now, I am hearing rumors, and you can take this for what it is worth, but I do not have verification, and I want to make that clear, that the folks at WGS Guns have already settled their suit with the Attorney General's office. There is an agreed-upon fine of $15,000, and that will be the end of it. Now, that is certainly not the way the Attorney General's office is treating the folks at Federal Way Discount Guns. And if you go back and you look at the allegations, and I'm not going to republish them here because they are allegations, but I will put the links for all the stories down below in the description box. If you go and you look at the allegations against both of these stores and you take a look at the details, there really is no difference in what was occurring here, okay? There is not one store that is acting in a far more egregious fashion than the other one, assuming the allegations to be true. But just so all of you can sleep good at night to know that your attorney general is hard at work keeping your community safer, let's take a look at what the attorney general did have to say and their findings after this massive statewide sweep. Our sweep confirmed that the overwhelming majority of gun retailers in Washington are doing the right thing and complying with the law. We will continue to proactively enforce this law and take action against anyone who illegally sells high-capacity magazines. Now, according to the Attorney General's office, enforcement officers went to 25 different gun stores, only finding to the two stores that we have previously mentioned to be in violation. Now, we have previously talked about the allegations against Federal Way Discount Guns in this video right here. The allegations in this case against WGS Guns in Lakewood is that store clerks sold a 13-round magazine for a Glock 23 pistol and a 15-round magazine for a Glock 22 pistol sometime after July 1st of this year, when the magazine ban went into effect. The allegation also includes that the store clerk wrote up the receipt for different inventory ammo rather than evidencing the high capacity magazine that they unlawfully sold. Investigators apparently also attempted to find more magazines that were displayed on the floor and were unsuccessful and also attempted to purchase high capacity magazines being offered on the store's website only to be told by the store that it was impossible for them to sell those magazines due to the law. Now, once again, why we can roll our eyes at what the Attorney General has done, has he possibly done a favor to those that are currently suing in either Sullivan v. Ferguson or Brumback v. Ferguson because the state continues to argue that none of the plaintiffs can demonstrate actual injury, that none of the plaintiffs actually have standing, that they're not truly being harmed by this law, and you don't get to sue to overturn a law just because you don't like it. Well, once again, the Attorney General has now, in fact, created a plaintiff who absolutely positively has standing, who absolutely positively can demonstrate a loss based upon implementation of an unconstitutional law. Now listen, we've reached out to the folks down at Federal Way Discount Guns and we're going to be trying to provide some more information. So for those of you who want to help them fight, because let us remember, some of these th people have stuck their necks out to help defend you and preserve your Second Amendment rights and we all need to start thinking about showing them some love. We will provide more information when we have it. In the meantime, if you have any questions about this or anything else related to your Second Amendment rights, you guys know the drill. You can always contact us at WashingtonGunLaw.com or you can call us directly at 425-765-0487. Now let's remember, part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here at Washington Gun Law, is to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay safe.